Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're hitting another example of astronomy changing before our eyes. We're going to see the debunking of a climate narrative in favor of a geomagnetic one, and we're looking at space weather and another unexpected effect in the solar wind, second one this week. This is the last 24 hours on our star, and it was a very calm one once again. The massive sunspot remains, but solar flaring has dropped out due to the magnetic complexity of it, or lack thereof. Solar wind is amplified here at Earth, and so let's go over both of these items, starting with the sunspots. Still the big lumbering active region in focus, massive, but not magnetically mixing. It has the twin double-lobed umbral lead and trailing smaller umbra, but the magnetism is well divided. Negative all trailing in the back, positive giants leading. No flares until that pattern breaks. But the solar wind is another story. Last night we saw the coronal hole stream arrive. It is a minor stream, only peaking around 600 to 650 kilometers per second, but it is driving a minor geomagnetic storm here this morning after the quiet conditions yesterday. But those quiet conditions yesterday present another issue. Because in the southern hemisphere you'd have had a tough time telling anyone the sun was quiet. Aurora exploded across Tasmania, New Zealand, and Australia, where there was no explanation for it at all, just like with the plasma breakthrough in the north earlier this week, minutes before the Iberian Peninsula blackout. This is screaming that it's the same kind of event. No solar trigger, no equinox vulnerability, we're a month past that, and this may be another instance of the field weakening so badly that literally nothing causes auroral events via plasma breakthrough. Quick jump up next to a stellar group born together directly towards the center of the galaxy. They say that this group is odd because it appears it will be disentangling itself and spreading out at record speed. What do you think the chances are that this first ever close-in young group observed randomly breaks the model expectations versus the models being wrong to begin with? Last but not least, folks, the official debunking of the absurd climatological claim of a six-year ocean cycle and the tidal forcing being driven by some mysterious thing. We said it back then when they said it in 2019, and this new group is saying it here in 2025. It's the six-year geomagnetic cycle of secular variation, jerking activity, and interplay with the length of day oscillations. It's not us or the kinetic dynamics, it's the electromagnetic system of our planet. Folks, on May 3rd, this month's special issue of Observer Review comes out. We gathered all the papers on the sun's impact on cardiac health, from blood pressure and heart rate to heart attacks. Dozens of studies show how and why it's the sun often triggering these major events. Today at Observer Ranch, Kings of Catastrophe Conference kicks off after the astrophotography class. Fireside chats are now a regular part of Observer Ranch events. Full days of science tomorrow and Sunday, and don't forget to plan your trip to come see us this year. Lots going on every month. We may be running shorter on time than we initially hypothesized, so get on that horse. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 15 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone